going on guys? Today we're going to be changing the motor on a Pentair Whisper Flow. It's a three horsepower motor. Got the new motor right there. There's our go kit with all our seals, a shaft seal. This motor burned up so we will be replacing that today. And we got the power off. Disconnects pulled out. So we will remove the cover here, which I already had it loose. We'll just verify that the power's off. Okay. All right, now we'll just unhook our wires. So I'm just gonna finish taking these off. All right, so now we're gonna remove the four bolts for the motor, two up top, one there, and one right here. And those are nine sixteenths. Now we're going to remove the six bolts that mount the seal plate to the pump. And those are 9 sixteenths as well. Okay, we got the motor out. You got the little seal here on the impeller and you got the seal plate seal right here we'll be replacing that as well probably have to use a screwdriver to get that out oh here it comes And we will need a little, looks like a Torx or an Allen head. There's a little screw here. And another one, well, supposed to be one there, but missing. Okay, it's a 332nd. We want to back that out. And we can pull that off. And there's a Phillips screw right here, which is, it's a reverse thread. So in order to get that off, you're gonna wanna put a wrench on the back of the motor, right here on the shaft to make sure it doesn't turn while you're trying to spin that off. And I'm gonna need two hands for that so I can hold the wrench and take this out. Okay, now that we have that off, you wanna spin off the wheel here, but you wanna make sure you have uh, a wrench or crescent wrench back here holding the shaft still so you can thread this off. And then we wanna pull the sill plate off. All right, so there's the old motor. Now here's the sill plate. 
and here's the shaft seal inside of here. So what you want to do is turn that upside down like that, get a flat head here, and tap, tap this seal out of there. And with this one here, you want to get a flat head around the edge, pry it up out of there as well. Okay, I got this seal out. Just sits down in there, like I said. You want to flip it over upside down, tap it with the hammer. That's how that comes out. Now, this seal here that's on the impeller, just want to get a flathead screwdriver and work it up. And there's that one. So when this is all together, this white edge here presses up against there and that spring pushes in and that's what, there's your shaft seal right there. Alright, and we got all new seals there. All new seals in the kit and a new shaft seal as well. Here's that one right there. And here's that one. All right, here's the rest of the seal that was in there. I just pried that out. Here's our new one. And you want to make sure you don't touch the white part of that. Set it there. And I think you can use, if I'm not mistaken, a three quarter inch coupling, PVC coupling, to push that in. Now the other seal that goes in the seal plate, you want to make sure you don't touch that side either. And drop it in and that's when you can use a one inch PVC coupling that goes around it and then you can push it down in, get it to seat. in. So we got that half of the shaft seal in. Here's this half. I got the seal plate all prepped ready for the new seal. Use some of the Leslie's pull and spa lube. I just put a bead all the way around here where the gas is, gasket's going to sit in. So now we'll go ahead and get this ready. Also put some more of this uh, sealant around the gasket as well. Get our other new gasket that goes around here. Okay, that's the right one. And we'll put some sealant around this as well. Well, it's a, it's a lube, not a sealant, but. This will extend the life of the gasket and it will help it stay in place as I'm putting it back together. Alright, so we got everything prepped up. 
get the motor out of the box here and get ready to put it back together. There's the new motor. There's the old one. And I got all the screws here ready to go. Put some uh, pool lube on the threads just to help it uh, go on easier and hopefully it will be easier to take apart next time. So we'll grab our seal plate and we will drop this on here just like that and we'll grab our screws Okay, we got the motor mounted to the seal plate. Now we'll put this back on. And remember, it is reverse threads when we put the screw in. And as we're turning this on, we need to hold the, the shaft to snug it up. So just go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, we got that all tight. Now we'll put the screw back which is right here. Here's that little gasket. Goes right on that Phillips head screw. Just like that. We'll put a little bit of lube on that. Which is a reverse thread. So now we're tightening it. Now to put the impeller back on. There's a three thirty second. Okay, snugged up. Okay, so we got the motor mounted to the seal plate, new shaft seal on the inside, new seal for the seal plate to the pump, and then we have the new seal here for the impeller. So now we just gotta mount all this back to the pump. Okay, you just wanna slide this in. Do it with one hand here. All right, we'll just put our bolts back in and we'll hook up the electrical. Okay, I got the motor and the uh, seal plate all mounted here. Tightened up all the bolts, and when you tighten those up, you just want to start in a corner, for example, this one, then go down here, get your bottom on, and then work your other corners, and then your middle. Just do them evenly, keep going around, get them all tightened even. And we got the electrical hooked up, got our seal tight back in here, got our ground and our two power legs hooked up. So now we can. Put the cover plate back on. Tighten that up. All right, got the motor up and running. And it looks like we're bone dry under the under the motor. Get over there as well. But I 
I did did notice a leak right here. It's like leaking some water around here. And it's running off the bottom here. Looking down, so I have to seal that up. But the motor, we're all good there. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.